hello friends this is kushal and welcome to my channel kushal's music hope you all are doing well today i am going to explain step by step process about how to connect casio tone cts 300 to your desktop or laptop via midi as a midi keyboard while searching about the product online i have found that some are facing problem to connect the product as a midi controller and some who have already connected it to their computers they are telling that touch response is not working while they are using it as a midi keyboard so don't skip the video and watch till the end and who have not already subscribed to my channel please do so and don't forget to click the bell icon so let's start there are four keyboards in the casio tone series cts 100 200 300 and lks 250 model all looks almost same and differs only in some features and look wise like cts 100 don't have any display and cts 300 and lks 250 are the only touch responsive keyboards in this series lks has lightning keys and cts 300 has pitch blend field to connect the cts 300 to your computer you need three things number one cts 300 keyboard number two the micro usb cable and number three obviously a computer okay so here is my cashew from cts 300 let me show you the panel over here uh, at the very left this is the paddling next thing is the usb is written over here usb this is usb come midi uh, next thing is the ac power adapter in then the audio out and headphone out this one and the last one is the auxiliary in so i have connected the ac power source via adapter and then switch it on the next thing you are going to need is the type b micro usb cable so i have to connect it to my computer this type b part i will connect it to my casio tone and the usb part i am going to connect to my computer We have connected our Casio Tone CTS 300 to our computer. Now let's see whether the computer has detected the keyboard or not. So in the start menu, in the search panel, type device manager. And open device manager. In the device manager under your PC, you search for sound, video and game controller, here is the Casio USB MIDI. So, your keyboard has already been connected to your computer and there is no need to change any of these settings. I haven't changed any setting, you can see the function. I am just scrolling over the settings, you can just check. Two settings you are going to keep in mind. Number one, this is the local control and number two, this is the media of velocity. So when this local control is on, this keyboard will play its own sound and when it is off, it will not play its sound. This has nothing to do with MIDI connectivity. If you put the local control on, it will be still connected as MIDI and it will work as MIDI. But there is one problem. When you have connected it as a MIDI and you are playing some VST instruments with it, uh, if the local control, if, if you put the local control setting to on position, then you can hear both these keyboards own sound and also the sound that is coming from your computer. So it is better to put the settings to off position. Next thing I am going to talk about is the media out velocity. This is the setting 
which tells you that your whether your cassiotone CTS will be touch response as MIDI or not. If you put these settings off, then your MIDI your CTS 300 will work as touch response MIDI controller and if you put a fixed MIDI velocity then how hard or how soft you play it will send the same MIDI signal of this particular velocity you set to your computer. To get its touch response in the MIDI settings also you have to keep these settings to off position. Okay, These are the main things which are hindering with this MIDI touch response sensitivity. The connectivity has no issue, it is just as simple as that, just connect your micro USB to your computer and it is done. And there is one thing, open your DAW. If you use new endo, then there is one way to one another way to check whether your MIDI has been connected or not. Here in the transport panel, in this bar, you can check after pressing a key. coming from my cashier so let's off it in the local control go to local control and put it to off so that you can check no sound from the cashier but we are displaying the So in the new window, I am opening file, new project, okay. and here I am connecting a MIDI track. If you connect a MIDI track and send, select the MIDI input as cashew USB MIDI and MIDI output also as cashew USB MIDI, then look, the local control is off. So there should be no sound from Cassiotone itself but when I am paying no sound why I have to select the recording so that the device will record the MIDI now you can see look the touch response is working super fine If you put the local control in on position, then what will happen? There will be two tones. Let me change it to something guitar. You can hear a piano sound and also a guitar sound. Okay. If I put this MIDI on off then you can only hear a sitar sound So, 
I have to put the local control setting to off so that it only play the okay we have seen some MIDI tracks now let's see some VST instrument tracks add instrument track now add VST VST instrument I will use a simple piano module Now let's see. Let's enable the record now. Now see another synth like not graphica. settings if I set this MIDI out velocity to now it is in off position so touch response is working well now let's say it at 94 then hard I play it will give output at the same volume And when you put it off, then low velocity, no sound, high velocity, you can hear the sound. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. If you like, don't forget to share it. And if you have any questions regarding this, please do comment below.